Hey, what's up, guys? Ryan Rigg here, the host of your show, Fast Electronic Loud. We bring it to you Fast Electronic and, of course, Loud. As you can tell by the title of the video today, we're taking a look at the brand new Sanus Full Motion Tilt Mount. Now, I did a mount video on this channel. It was a Sanus mount also, S-A-N-U-S, for those that have mounted TVs on your wall, you know, maybe above the fireplace, seen it at a friend's. I used the Sanus mount five years ago on a Samsung 60-inch television in my old gaming home theater setup. I loved it, it was simple, two studs on the wall, mount the bracket, bada boom, hang the bracket to the back of the TV, hang it. And there was even a fine tune adjustments for if you wanna make sure it got level, you could level it at the end. So fast forward five years from that video brings us here today and we're gonna do the installation on the Santa's full motion TV mount. It's the uh, OLF 18. This is for, I believe it's the 37 inch to 80 inch TV. So it's, it will accommodate a large television and also up to, I believe 125 pounds. So I kind of got everything laid out here um, that I'm gonna need. And it's a good idea to go ahead up front and get everything laid out up front. Your tools, the parts, all your accessories. It's gonna make for a quicker and easier installation. The reason for that, instead of, you know, maybe being mid-step in an installation, you may find yourself like, oh, I need to grab this, I need to grab that and then you have to pause. This will allow you to have everything you need and the instruction manual is real simple. Comes with a template and we'll get that, we'll get into that in this video, similar to how I did the tilting uh, installation mount on my previous, which was a low profile mount to the wall. Well, as you can tell, I kind of staged some things here. Uh, right below the shots, one of those digital fireplace. So it produces heat, but it also has kind of the fireplace look with an LCD screen. So perfect place to have a television. Now, we're still going to be mounting that same Samsung 60-inch television. Why? Because it works. It's a five-year-old TV. Sure, we could get the latest and greatest with the bells and whistles, but the idea here is that you can take what you have and not spend a whole lot of money and change your entire living room for 100 I believe the retail on this is $100 or $120. I'll leave it uh, detailed down in the link. Uh, I'll leave a link down there in the detail or pardon me, in the video description, you can take a look at it. But I've got everything laid out, and I just wanted to give a shout out to Sanus for sending out the mount uh, for this video. I worked with them on the past video. I didn't work with them, I just used them, uh, the product, and asked them, you know, hey, we, I'm, I'm trying to do a corner mount. Are you guys interested in maybe letting us take a look at the full motion mount? Now, the reason I chose the corner for this, it's a 60-inch television. Now, without boring you guys with math and physics and numbers, when you start doing the math, it's gonna be very dependent to get a TV in the corner you're gonna need something that mounts on the wall and then articulates out with that will allow you to make that angle. And that was what I worked with Sanus and the good people over there, you know, kind of guided me in the right direction. We had tried one particular one and didn't quite have the leverage, the angle. It was the uh, OLF 15 model. Um, and that was through no fault of my own. It was just a poor measurement on my part. It's just not large enough to accommodate for a corner mount. That's why I wanted to do this video is because everyone does mount television on the wall above a fireplace and traditionally it's just on a flat wall. So this will make for a great video because it's a corner mount installation. So we're gonna have the TV basically squared off here with what you see within the fireplace. And it'll basically, with the measurement, it'll fill this entire void. And I've got LED lighting for behind the television. So we'll kind of get that glow. And you'll see that here throughout the video as we finish. So the idea here with the uh, inst installation tutorial, obviously get everything ready, get your tools. You know, we're going to get the box opened up, get all the parts, show you the back of the television. So just keep, stay tuned for the video. Fast forward if you'd like, you know, to, to different parts that are going to work for you. You know, some of the tools that are going to make this job real easy, uh, tape measure, pencils, screwdriver. I've got a couple of different levels, a couple different sizes. Um, we've got a socket and wrench here because you're going to want to tighten them lag bolts into the wall once we mount that corner mount. And then uh, we've also got a stud finder, which would make real easy to locate the studs. So when we get into this actual installation, we have the option of either mounting our traditional wall bracket, uh, which will probably be about a size of about this. We can either mount it on this wall or we can actually mount it on that wall. So that'll give me the option. And then we have the articulating arm that will allow me the motion to basically mount it here as if it would look here. And then we'll swing the motion out and that will allow us to get the perfect angle and look like a perfect hovering corner mounted television. That is the plan. So I think we need to do what we do best and just get into the installation tutorial of the Santa's full motion TV mount model OLF 18. All right, now that we got everything laid out, let's take a look and uh, just verify you got everything in the contents of the box. Always a good idea. We'll go ahead and pop this up and take a look what is inside. Now I've kind of peeked and looked online so I know what is uh, to be expected here. So 
we've got uh, instruction manual here, which we are going to use. I've looked at the one online. I've got it uh, brought up on my iPad as well. And we were talking earlier in the video about the template. This is uh, what we're gonna actually use when we get that mounted on the wall. So we'll use this to uh, mount up the template. And that'll give us our locations here. We can kind of use this as a level. That way we make sure we've got all of our holes. You know, we can just verify that's exactly what we need. I like the concept of the template. Just makes life a little bit easier. I think life, <laughs> don't you think, should come with a template and also include in the box. Uh, you can look, like I said, I'll leave the uh, product link down below in the video description. You can also visit their website uh, so you can see everything that's going on here. But we've got like, I know, kind of noisy. We got all of the hardware packs here, everything we need depending on our setup you know, what uh, style television we have, you know, if we're using spacing, and that's all detailed in the instructions. So although this ma uh, installation video is more geared toward the actual mount itself, your TV is gonna be different. So uh, that's why they give you so many different pieces there. So we've got, you know, the bracket that we're gonna assemble that will go on the television. So basically you'll have kind of one, two, three or four of these will kind of beam off the side there. So we'll have that, and then below there, We'll go ahead and lift up this cardboard here real quick. So we're going to need all this stuff anyway. Then we've got our actual, grab this out of the plastic here. We'll have our actual uh, wall bracket here. That's what's going to go on the wall. We'll get that mounted up. That's what references the template. So, and then we've got our covers, our caps. These are kind of, once we get everything dialed in, we can put these over the brackets that'll be on the wall. So kind of give that finished, polished look. And then we've got the uh, articulating arm that will kind of mount basically to that bracket on the wall. And we'll articulate to our extension that we need and we'll get dialed in so we can, you know, move it. We've got full range of motion. That's what's cool about the full motion mount. So we've got that extension we're gonna need to make that corner. We've got some additional hardware in the bottom, some of the Allen keys and other tools that we'll need like the lag bolts that'll go into the wall. So yeah, pretty exciting. We're gonna just jump right into the installation. We've also got our cable organizer. So all this stuff, you guys ready to get into it? Cause see, like, as you can tell, my current setup was lacking. It was on the floor. I didn't want a wall mounted. We got to go to the corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this TV off the wall. We're going to get some of the components disconnected. And then on the back, we're going to begin the process of getting this ready to go on the wall. So in a nutshell, I'll give you guys, you can kind of look at also on their website, you know, if you're mounting one up yourself, you know, if you want to double check your instructions, we're gonna essentially mount that faceplate to the back of the television. We'll attach the bracket arms. That's gonna give the bracing to the back of the television. We'll switch over to the corner, change gears a little bit. What we'll do then is we'll mount the actual wall bracket to the wall using the provided template. We'll make sure we get that level, the attached to studs. We'll put the articulating arm in there. We'll make sure it's in there, secured. Then with a friend, I'm gonna lift the TV up onto the mount. We'll finish positioning that corner and we'll have a finished look. So, but I'm gonna show you those steps here. We're gonna get that bracket on the back of the television, get the wall plate on the wall. We're gonna match the TV to the wall plate once we have the bracket on there. And hopefully, if we do everything right, we're gonna be sitting back tonight watching a movie in the new corner mounted television. I'm pretty excited about this, so hope you guys are too. Let's keep going. All right, we are moving right along. I went ahead like we talked about there is a really, really great installation tutorial video from Sanus directly on their website. I'll leave it linked for this particular mount. I just kind of wanted to go through, you know, my version of the installation, you know, cut and dry, the bare bones, uh, what, you know, you could read in the manual, but also just seeing it, you know, just boom, 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 put together, you know, kind of a finished edit, edited video because you don't know behind the scenes, you got to stage the shot and things, but that's not anything for you guys to worry about. So uh, what I wanted to do was go ahead and, get everything ready here on this end of it after I got everything ready on the television, you know, moving right along with the directions. So this was the particular location I chose for the bracket. The reason was in the event I want to swing the TV in a different way uh, for a direct shot on this wall, I could essentially pivot it out and it would then just lay flat against that wall right there. So that was the reason for this. I could have put it on this bracket or e this wall either way. So the whole point of this bracket and this wall mount and the articulation was not to accommodate a flat wall, but was to accommodate a perfect triangle within this corner. So basically two sides of the wall and the other side being the triangle. That's what's most exciting about it. And having that full 18 inch extension that comes off of that wall plate, that articulating arm, that's what allows me to get the angle. And the really great thing is once we get to that next stage and you see the actual bracket and the wall plate, I'm able to slide that left or right, which really, really helps 
getting that positioning and that exact look. So I'm excited about that. But what I did here, I used the level, went ahead and got the bracket, uh, the template per se, set up and taped. Now I went ahead and made sure it was level and then I drew lines on my wall after I used my stud finder, which is right, uh, let's see, right here. Yeah, finished using the stud finder. That's why I said it's really good to have uh, the right tools for the job, it makes things a little bit easier. So I found the studs, um, used my straight edge or level to go ahead and complete those lines all the way up. And then uh, figured out my positioning, what I wanted height wise. Now that's gonna vary. I'm using a 60 inch television, but I also wanted to create a lip right below the TV that would allow for a center channel speaker. So that's the reasoning for the positioning on a mine. Yours is gonna be different, but the overall idea of what we're doing here is the same. So I got the drill there. I'm gonna pre-drill, pre-drill, pardon me, one, two, three, four holes right here. And that basically is what I'm gonna use with these lag bolts uh, that were supplied. And with the lag bolts, these are what we'll put into the wall with the actual wall bracket, and we'll use the socket set. So we use the socket and a wrench to get that done. So yeah, we're moving right along. It's really great because you you know you put the bracket on the television, then you get you know your template, so you got everything ready for drilling. Then you can go ahead and get the wall plate installed, get the arm, and then we'll be ready to bring that TV up. So it's exciting and it's super easy. Like you don't have to be a true do-it-yourselfer to get this done. Now, granted, I've done it before and I've got the tools. But I feel like if you have the right tools or even a friend, I really feel like with their instructions, it makes it real easy. And, and let me declare this right also too in the video, uh, this is not a paid video, it's not a paid review. Um, you know, I reached out to them and kind of begged for the amount to accommodate this setup. So I said, you know, I'll make a video out of it and you know, I'll give you my thoughts. So like I said, I'm not paid or anything to make this video or the review. So I'm just, uh, I'm happy. I'm excited. I can't wait for you guys to see the finished product. I can't wait either. It's going to be great. So when you get to the step about mounting your television and the bracket to the television, you want to make sure, pay attention to this here in the owner's manual, the measure your TV hole pattern. Makes it real easy here. You've got some standard measurements. So measure your width and height, and that's going to give you the green number there in centimeters because that's how they've identified it here in the manual. So depending on your size of your television, that's where this is going to matter. But this is very important because this is the actual hardware that is secured to the television, which is then secured to the mount on the wall. So you're going to want to make sure that you do this step and pay attention very carefully. So I wanted to you know, bring attention to that in the manual. For example, my particular television here measured 15 and 3 quarter inches width and height. So if I consult the chart here, I know that that's a 40 centimeter green measurement there in the green. So 40. So we kind of look over here, A, B, C. We've got different options within the owner's manual. So at quick glance, I found one that is going to work for me because the measurements are 40 by 40. So that is going to give me the exact layout right here, how I want to assemble the hardware and the bracket that goes on to the back of the television. Now, this was an existing mount that I already had. You know, you guys saw it over here. I already had my bracket, uh, that what my low profile. So I've taken that off. I removed that hardware and I'll save that for a later installation. But here on the back, I went ahead and made my measurements here. So yours are going to be different and all of that will just dictate for your hardware. I'm actually going to use the spacers and allow that bracket to sit off the television a little bit more. And the reason you want to do that is uh, you may want to allow room for your cabling. Oh, and I've got cool LED lights, so yes, it's all coming together. All right, we went ahead and we got our TV bracket all assembled exactly how we need, and we have that mounted to the back of the television. We want to make sure that's secure because that's going to be your weak point. You do not want your television to fall from your mounts. So make sure you're following the instructions very carefully. Like I said, Santis has really good instructions on their website. Make sure you follow those, the ones that came supplied with your mount. Your TV, your application, your installation is different. I don't want to really be liable for you know, any of your uh, mishaps. So please just do me a favor, read through the instructions. I promise it'll all work out, it's very easy. You can see I've got the bracket on there. I also went ahead and did the spacers to give me that little bit of extra room we talked about to accommodate for you know like the cables, the cabling that we'd have over here uh, and just give me some extra room for my LED and that'll give me a little bit of extra room off the wall as well. So make sure you get your bracket on there right, use the supplied instructions. All right, so once we had that bracket secured to the back of the television, we had the wall brackets installed to the wall. We had the template up there. We removed the template after installation. We got our four lag bolts in. It came time to put in the articulating arm. So you wanna just slide that up and then down, locks into position. 
There are four machine screws that go in the corner. There's one, two, three, four. Now you can slide this arm left or right within the mount. So depending on if you're doing it not in a corner, know that you're gonna have an offset if you close this all the way up. So I'm not closing, I need to actually swing it out to accommodate for the mount of the corner. So you can actually see, and I'll zoom out here, we've got the mount, we've got the articulating arm, we've got the brackets here to the television. Those are three easy steps within the instruction manual. So if you follow them, like I said, it's gonna make it real easy. And that is exactly what I did. So shout out to you guys, Sanus, for making crystal clear instructions with this particular mount. So I'm just finalizing my location, my position, making sure that I'm center here. So I've got my full range of motion. I've got my tilt on this arm right here. I can completely swing out. I can go that way. I could slide this whole plate down the wall, left or right. So let me zoom out here real quick. Do that in real time. Yeah, there we go. So you can see we could go all the way across by sliding left or right. Now I've begun to secure the machine screws, but like I said, you could go all the way down here, all the way here. That's what's great about these arms. So this is what allows me to make that flexibility to get this centered out in the corner. We'll get that locked down and secured, and then we'll hang the TV and hopefully we've got a nice corner mounted custom television dead center and secure. That's the name of the game. Take a look at it. We're making progress. So with the help of an amazing friend, it's good with the size of a television this big 60 inch television just depends on your size of television definitely want a partner just to help you lift that up so when we lifted the television up we just needed to grab the little locking ring on the edge of the articulating arm and then at the bottom there is a set top screw a machine screw that secures to the bottom and that's what's secured so we've got a fine tooth fine tuning adjustment here fine tuning adjustment there We've got the articulating arm so you can see it's very simple now my math i've got to adjust how this uh, slides down that wall we're able to slide and articulate this slide so we can take the wall plate and we can slide this articulating arm mount we can slide it down just a little bit slide it back this way to get our fine fine tuning fine tooth comb adjustment so that's basically what i'm working on right now but everything is secure we use the proper hardware. We follow the instructions. Yeah, you can see my LED light. And I've done a video on that, which is really cool, how to make those perfect squares. And I've got to do some adjustments because I've had these five years, and this has been from Illinois to Atlanta and then back to Illinois again. So I'm getting this all uh, dialed in, getting everything all set up here. But I just wanted to show you once we got it hung on the back, you know, how that works, you know. And it makes it nice with going ahead and doing on that wall. Because, say, for example, if we were hosting maybe a party outside, we could have the TV showing out there. So I've got to hook up, you know, the rest of the home theater and gaming setups. So make sure you're subscribed on the channel because I'll be doing a full video of the gaming and home theater setup. But I wanted to show you with the bracket and everything secured, how that looks and articulates. Plus, the great thing is with full motion, it gives you that ease of access to get to all your ports, whatever you need to do. And then you can dial it back down, get it back in the corner, whatever you need to do. Like I said, I'm working on the, the corner. Of, I just need to slide my bracket down just a little bit, but I wouldn't have known it until I got it mounted. But once I got it mounted up, um, like I said, I just got to make a couple adjustments there in the corner. And you can see I'm just off just by a little bit, but it's perfectly level. It turned out really well. I've got some cabling that you won't see. I'll put a center channel speaker, but when we put on the, uh, LED lighting behind the television once it gets dark it's gonna have a nice luminescent glow in the corner which works out really well and the great thing is with our fireplace we've got uh, the digital fireplace so in addition to heat we can do we can do uh, just lighting on it which is nice because it uh, kind of gives that awesome effect to it so let me turn that on real quick here and so we have that fireplace going there we'd have the LED glow and then let me cut the lights and I can show you here. This will be a teaser for the upcoming gaming setup video, but uh, that's kind of how it would look, you know, throw on our favorite holiday movie, but that's going to be a pretty sweet setup. So I'll get, I'll get the full speakers and everything all dialed in and have the gaming console, all the wiring connected. So the other thing I'm going to have to do is make, um, which will be in a separate video is I will be putting together 
uh, probably a raceway in the fireplace because that's a fake wall there to make basically an access to bring all the cabling down and then out here and then I'll have my home theater kind of set up because everything here is already hardwired with ethernet and cables so but yeah I want to say a big shout out to Sanis on the mount on that because that really worked out well so thank you for sending that out hopefully you guys enjoyed the video here um, they've got the full like installation tutorial I just wanted to kind of pick it apart and show you like you know my steps my things what I took and to be honest with you after putting it together, I mean, the only thing that really slowed me down was jet, uh, filming clips in between just to make this video. But as for installation, I mean, it was very simple. I, I made sure I measured. I put the right bracket on the television, secured that. We secured the wall plate to the wall using the template, pre-drilled holes, socket and wrench, or pardon me, socket and, uh, well, the wrench there to get the four lag bolts in the wall, put the articulating arms secure that but yeah i mean it's it's an amazing santa's did a great job with the full motion now i'm very happy because it accommodates a corner but it also gives me flexibility because if i move my couch and i want to have a straight shot of the television but not the corner i would be able to do that i have a straight shot on that wall so so many options but i'm very happy so far i'm going to just finish the fine tooth uh, comb adjustments, getting everything, make sure it's level, setting up components, editing a video, and ultimately just relaxing and enjoying the new setup. So let's get back in front of this here and wrap this up. But I'd say uh, ease of installation, A+, plus. quality of product, A+, plus. you know, the warranty by Sanus, they're always available for customer service. I'm very happy, very satisfied, and the overall look is just phenomenal. Let me kind of position this back one more time here, just how easy it is to move, make adjustments, tilt, make that level if you need. So I'm super stoked. We can't wait. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. But yeah, what do you guys think so far? I think it turned out well. Yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out, watching through this tutorial video. Like I said, it's the full motion mount from Santa's. Big shout out to them for sending it out. Like I said, it wasn't a paid video, wasn't paid to review it. Uh, it's more or less an installation tutorial review. Now, there are instructions in there uh, laid out very good, very well for how to get this up. And to be honest with you, I have experience with kind of do-it-yourself. I've mounted televisions before, so it may be a little bit easier for me. may have a little bit more of a learning curve for others, but I really feel like those instructions are laid out to a T. You know, four lag bolts, in, find your studs, mark them, four lag bolts with a wall plate, make sure it's level. Secure your arms, secure the bracket, the television, literally lift the television up, drop it on the bracket, it's secured. I've got some, uh, just a couple of leveling issues here that I'm just gonna adjust, which is good because that option's there once you're installed. And I'm very satisfied with it, to be honest with you. It, it fits the corner of the room, which is what we want. It takes it off the wall, which you guys saw was on the floor, allows me to move the couch onto the wall where that television was at, free up living room space. So I've now taken this space, which is the great thing. The big part of this video is I've used this space over the corner with the fireplace. I think it's just a really awesome look. I'm excited to watch videos, play games. I'm excited to finish the setup. So like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can uh, get notified when I do upload that full setup video. But make sure you visit the links down in the video description. I've got this up uh, tagged on Amazon so you can check it out as well as Santa's website. Big shout out to them for making this video happen. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. It was nice working with you folks again on this. And I'm just excited. But what do you guys think? I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do drop a like on it. Subscribe, like I said. Follow us on social media. I'll leave it linked down below. Uh, but I'm just a regular consumer, five-year-old television. This could work for anyone, and we achieved a corner mount. That was the awesome thing about this articulating full motion wall mount is it works very well for corner mounting solutions. So if you've been thinking about, you know, I don't like my TV on that flat wall. I want to corner mount that. This is going to be the mount for you, and I'm very well satisfied with it. So I'm going to get back to, uh, well, setting everything up, editing this video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And uh, be looking for good things to come in 2019. But guys, Brian Rigg, the host of your show, Fast Electronic Loud. We always bring it to you fast, electronic, and loud things just like this. Please do drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're not. And we'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.